A drone at work. Its mission, a survey. Its goal, a sugar beet field. One could also say a flying eye and its mechanical arm. Both are part of the Flourish project. In the future, they could work as an autonomous team taking care of agricultural fields. At ETH Zurich's research station in Eshikon, the Flourish Duo will be tested and further developed. In addition to ETH Zurich, universities from Germany, France, Italy, and the technology group Bosch are also involved. The drone is responsible for monitoring the state of the sugar beet population in the field. It is equipped with a high-resolution small camera, multi-spectral and infrared sensors. From a height of 10 to 100 meters, it can tell whether a given field area is growing optimally or sparsely, and whether it is overgrown due to a weed infestation. In addition, it collects information about the condition of the plants. This provides an accurate picture of exactly where weeds need to be controlled by herbicide or fertilizer is required. It sends this information to the ground robot. And it's about to get to work. It also has cameras and sensors that allow him to move around the field on his own. With additional cameras and infrared sensors, it measures the size, color, and shape of the plants according to different criteria. In this way, it can differentiate between crops, marked green in the picture, and weeds, which are marked red. The method he then uses for weed control is extremely environmentally friendly. Hydraulic metal stamps put an end to the young weed shoots. When the researchers' plans work out, the two work independently and without interruption, except for loading and programming pauses. But this is not their only advantage over traditional agriculture. So far, the Flourish Tandem has been optimized for use on sugar beet fields. In the future, the system should be transferable to all crops. For this purpose, the parameters of the respective plants have to be recorded and integrated into the system. Organic farmers as pioneers working side by side with robots? That's a sustainable and exciting future for agriculture around the world.